Welcome back to the channel. My name is Doug. And I'm Ashley. Today we're going to be doing a couple of jobs. We have to work on the bathroom. The bathroom is the priority now. So we're moving our efforts into there. We're going to show you what needs to be done. All right, so we're getting ready to sell our property. And we live in a mobile home right now, and it's an older mobile home, so it needs some work. This is the bathroom. It's not bad, but it needs some work. And this is going to be the beginning of a bathroom makeover. So we did the kitchen makeover, and now we're in the bathroom. First thing is um, the floor will be replaced, and I'll show you why in a minute. You can see there is damage here from an overheated heater vent. I don't know why, but you know, it was like that when we moved in. Um, there's rips in it here and there like this. Yeah, there's, there's tears in the floor, but also the toilet. The toilet needs replacing. It's hard to see it, okay, but the toilet is actually um, leaking. Uh, probably the wax ring is just leaking or something, but the floor behind the toilet is bulged up and the toilet's sinking a little bit. We have to repair that. We don't want any leaks. Um, it's not like a heavy leak, water doesn't come out. It's just enough to dampen the floor and ruin it. So we're going to be pulling the toilet out, fixing the floor, replacing the floor, uh, covering, and putting a new toilet in. Under the sink where we keep our paint, um, there is a old rotten shelf and it's kind of broken. Huge crack here, it's just sinking down. So the shelf is kind of useless. I started prying it up just to measure how thick it is. We're gonna fix that. And this, the bathroom fan does not work and it looks disgusting. Um, there's no switch even. Uh, this is the only switch that goes to the light. There is a wire for that fan in there, but somebody took it, disconnected the switch from it. I bought a replacement for this. We have it already, so I'm going to start with this today, and we're going to go look at a used toilet this afternoon. We can put the cover in now, I think. Yeah, give me the cover. There. Cute. Does it look okay? We are done with this step of the job. We have a brand new light in there. Brand new fan, and it works, and turn it on. You can kind of hear it. It was actually really easy to hook up. And we have a new switch on the wall, fan, lights. Pretty cool. So that's step one done, check it off the list. This is the nasty fixture we took out. You can see the pieces are just gross. This, look what they had in here. They just stuffed it full of clothes and it was missing the fan. It doesn't work. Yuck. Yep. Luckily, we found a replacement that fit perfectly. I wonder how long those clothes have been stuffed in there. Yeah. Like 30 years. Yeah. Who knows? We got the toilet, and here it is. So, it's an old, colder toilet. It's an older toilet, 
but it's in decent shape. It has a lined tank, has a styrofoam lined tank, so it won't get the condensation on the outside. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape, so we're happy with it. It was only $30. It was honestly the cheapest one we could find in the area. Um, I, I saw one maybe other for $25, but this one looked like a better deal. So we do have the toilet and the lid is already in the house. That's good to go. We wanted to take a little break from working on the house to talk about why we're working on the house. We've had some comments that were kind of like, just move or why are you wasting money on the house? Why are you wasting time on the house? Um, just sell, I thought you were moving. And they're like, I don't get it. Yeah. This is the reason we're working on our mobile home before we sell it. First is that when we sell it, we want to get the most return as possible. If we can make a profit, we want to make a profit. And when you put time and money into your property, even a mobile home, in a lot of cases, you will get more in return. So we do hope to sell the property for more than we paid. And we certainly don't want to lose money on the deal. So we're definitely going to make more money. So that's the first reason that we're working on the house before selling it, because we want to make more money. The second reason is because for me, it, it's a reflection of us. When people come to look at our home and people come into our home or somebody buys our home, it's a reflection of our living. It's a reflection of our storage, stewardship of our property, you know, like how we took care of it and how we left it for the next people. We want to leave it in a good condition. We are honest people and we don't want to leave somebody else with a mess. We don't want to hide anything. We don't want to cover anything up. We want it to be good for the next people. We want the next people mm -hmm. to feel good moving into this house or otherwise we're not going to feel good inside ourselves. Yeah. So if we know there's a problem, we want to fix that. Yeah. We want to make it good. We Even would, though it was like that when we moved in. And we would want people to do that for us. We wouldn't want to, you know, we hate moving into properties that need a lot of work. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, we, we just want to make it as nice as we can. So it's just a reflection of who we are. It's what we do. And we hope that we can also make more money in return. So I hope that makes sense. Um, while we're working on this bathroom project, which is going really good, the, the ceiling fan went in so easy. Other than working in the dark, mm -hmm. it fit, perfect fit. It works 100%. And it's so quiet. It, and it's bright in there now. It feels really nice. Yeah, with the third bulb. Um, but we got the toilet, we got all that. But while we're doing that, we're actually in the middle of another project in the bedroom. And we'll show you that too in another video. Um, and while we're doing that, we're also taking care of other things. So some of these projects... And we also got our hatching eggs today. Yeah. <laughs> and those are going to be going in the incubator tomorrow. So we have a lot going on and we're doing like a lot of multitasking. So some of these projects might be scattered here and there. Yep. But that's just the way we work. Um, we're trying to get the property together as fast as we can. We're trying to work on something every day. That's our goal, is to just work on something. Yeah. And we're going to have a few days of rain, so we can't do much outside. But we have plenty to do inside. A lot inside. And we're going to be having to pick up paint and stuff and get ready for some nice weather so we can start working on the outside. And I guess while we're talking about the property and selling it, I know some of you guys, quite a few of you guys, got upset that we were selling. Um, and there's so many understanding people also who just totally get it. But the people who got upset, just try to trust us for a moment. Just try to trust our judgment and know that, that we're trying to do what we feel led to do. This is the direction we need to go. We're not listening to our emotions and saying, oh, but I love it and I need it. And we're doing what we really need to do. Um, and that's important. And you're going to see a story unfold um, if you just stick with us and trust us. And it's going to be better. It's going to get even better. We, we're optimistic. We don't feel bad about moving. Um, I think we're going to end up with a bigger, better property than we would have been able to get back in January if yeah. we didn't buy this place first. This 
Yeah, we have no regrets here. This yeah. Is I feel like we were just made, meant to have this place and it'll all work out even better. Yeah. So just trust us for a little while and see where this ends because you never know. Life is crazy. You know, if you just go with the flow, you never know where it takes you. Yep. You just, it's an adventure. And that's what our whole channel is about, is about our journey. It's about what we're working on each day because you never really know what you're gonna get and you never know where we're gonna be heading. And Like we had no idea we were gonna get the van and then like all of a sudden we have it. We bought the van. It was just like, yeah, that's what we need to do. After like wondering how we're gonna move, do we get a trailer? Yeah. It's just crazy. And it makes sense. It yeah. just makes sense. So we just wanted to share those thoughts with you and let you know what was going on, what's happening around here. And we're gonna be painting our ceilings. I know some of you guys wanted us to do that when we did our kitchen remodel months ago. We will paint the ceilings. I know they're nasty looking. At least most of them. Yeah, the kitchen, our bedroom, and the hallway will need to be redone. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll stop rambling. That's all we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't the most exciting video, but at least you got some good updates and you know what's going on. So until next time, take care. Bye.